Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Feng Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Feng's Reversal. So Feng's Reversal is this, back 1 plus 3 or back 2 plus 4. This activates in 2 frames and lasts for another 7. Now when you do this correctly, it will reverse punches. That's left and right, high and mid. It is also unchickenable, so once you have them, there's no escape. Along with that, the damage you deal scales with the attack. So the stronger their punch is, the more damage they eat. Now one thing you'll notice is the animation. If you reverse a left punch, then you get the arm drag. If you reverse a right punch, then you get the throw away. Now the arm drag leaves them close, so you actually get okay. Your best option is probably D4. This is everything unless they stand and crouch. To cover that, use shoulder. This will hit them and catch back rollers. It also beats our wake up kicks. But side rollers will escape and so will stay down. If you want to be a bit greedy, go for DB3. This is more damage and it beats our wake up kicks. But standards and back rollers can block it. And in that case, you're at minus 15. The throw away is less rewarding. In the open, the opponent lands far away, so there is no Oki. At the wall though, it's a different story. Here, your best option is Dragon Slayer. Now, standards and back rollers can't block this, but it leaves us at zero. That makes back plus one a frame trap. Along with that, the move beats our wake up kicks and it avoids the recovery kick. The only place it fails is against side rolls, staying down and spring kick. To cover that, use DB3. Now this can be blocked by standards, but it hits people on the floor. It also counts its wake up kicks and it avoids the spring kick. If you want to be a bit greedy, go for the headbutt. On block, this is plus four and they're forced into crouch. Against wake up kicks, it's a counted, and that means a stomp is guaranteed. Now having this tool is all good, but how do you use it? Well, one route is against punch heavy characters. Paul and Steve are prime candidates, and against them, you'll get several opportunities. The other route is with setups. Almost all characters have jabs, DF1s, and punishers that start with a punch. So if we can trick them into using them, we have a trap. Now with the reversal activating in two frames, the optimal setup is when we're minus eight on block. That way, we'll reverse punches that are 10 frames up to 17. Two options are DF3 plus four and hell wins. The former is a knockdown homing mid, so you can see where we'd use it. The latter can really suck people in. Because it's the third hit of a string, people are very inclined to take their turn. But if they try to do that, we can catch them. My favorite optimal setup though is this, back turn delayed hop kick. Now almost all front facing hop kicks are minus 13. So people will instinctively punish. The back turn version though is actually safe. So when they go to do that, they get caught. Now beyond the optimal setups, there are others that can work. At minus seven, we have while standing four, while standing two, and DF three. Now while standing four is nothing special. While standing two on the other hand is a great setup. In older games, this was a launcher and it meant that it was punishable. In Tekken seven though, it is safe. So if someone hasn't kept up with the changes, they're gonna get caught. DF3 is another great move. It has short range, but it's a safe launching mid. Now most people will know this, so they won't try to punish. What they might do though, is use DF1, but that is still fair game. Another setup is DF22. This is a safe, mid hitting wall bouncer. And that is actually quite rare. If though someone isn't aware of that, they can fall into the trap. Beyond those, we also have minus nine setups. Now these aren't ideal, cause jabs can beat us. Anything slow though, will get reversed. Two standout setups are FF2 and F1 plus two. Now the former has good range and it's mid. The latter is high, but it's a launcher. So it's definitely worth using. 
Two others are back four and Kempo two. Now the former is a fast tracking mid. The latter is the safest move from Kempo. Now Feng does have other defensive tools and I will be covering those in future videos. So if you want to see those, make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.